Hello guys, welcome back to a new YouTube tutorial and today we'll be covering up how to install a new, the new CC Gingrich V3 for Premiere Pro. So once you have downloaded the pack from the store, you will find a zip. To unzip it, you need to right click and extract all or double click and extract all. Once you have unzip it, inside we will find the manual in case you need it. And then here we'll have our uh, MOGRT files. One thing that is very important is to copy the CC3D models. You know, need to copy Ctrl C or Command C, and then you need to go to your local disk C, and then for Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, and then Video Copilot, Model, and then you need to paste the CC3D models here. It's very important that the 3D models to work. We need the After Effects Premiere Pro and the 3D element or video copilot so the graphics uh, can work. So once you have pasted the CC 3D models, we need to go to Premiere Pro and then here we will have our project. And then on Essential Graphics, we need to go to Browse and then here on the bottom rectangle icon, you need to install one by one your MOGRT files. So once you have installed the files, you go to open and done. So one thing that is very important is that the frame that we have created, uh, they need the sequence to be 90, 20 by 10, 80. So we need to go to motion. We need to go to sequence, sequence settings, and then here 90, 20 by 10, 80. So let's see how the files work. So we need to, for example, go with the callouts. We need to drag and drop to our timeline. So here is me the menu of editing is the same for all of them. So you, you can see they are very easy and intuitive to work. So here we have the callouts. We have a total of nine. So you, you can change between them. For example, the number five. Yeah, let's go with nine, number four. So you have the position in case you want to move it or the scale, you can make it smaller or bigger. And then if we choose the number four, we need to open the folder number four and here we'll have the box position in case you want to move only the position and you can also animate the box uh, by, with the keyframes. And you also have the target position that is the circle above. So you can see, you can move it you have the colors in case you want to change them. For example, let's go for yellow. And you can see now the color are changing. We go with a blue. So you can see the color have changed. You also have here the text in case you want to change it. You also have the, the font and the scale of the text. As you can see, you you can also check or uncheck the fit of the box if you want. You can see, you can check or uncheck. You also have the thickness of the lines if, if you want to make it bigger or smaller. And that's it with the color. For, for tracking, you can use it in two ways. You can track by keyframes in Premiere Pro. If you want to be more easier, you can go in After Effects and track the the scene and it will be more easier to track the, the callouts. So that is it with the callouts. Let's go with, let's go for example with the, yeah, with the icons, drag and drop to your timeline. You can see here we have, you can see the grid is moving. They are very easy to use. You can change between them. You have that is tricep, bicep, brachial, forearm. Let's go with the triceps. So you can see we have the position, scale and rotation in, in case you need them. They are very versatile and easy to use. You have the color of the outline and the fit. If you want to change it, for example, let's go with uh, blue. And now the color will change. Let's go, yes. You can see the color has changed. You also have the thickness. If you want to change it, let's make it five. You can see the thing that has changed. You can also check or uncheck the animation of the grid in case you need it. You have here and you also have the thickness of the lines in case you need it. So all the icons 
uh, are working the same. There are 23 icons that you can play with them. So yeah, let's go forward with the with the lower third. We need to drag and drop to our timeline. So here are here are the lower thirds. Click. We need to go to edit, and then here you can choose between thirteen lower thirds if you want. Let's go with the number ten, for example. So we need to no. Let's go with the three. So open the the folder number three. So here we have the colors in case you want to change them. Let's go with another blue. And you can see the text has changed the color and then you have the color for everything. You have the font that you can change, the text, if you want the position and the scale of the text in case you need it. And as you can see, they are very easy to use. So yeah, let's put this one here, right and down. Okay, so let's go with another one. So let's go with the intro templates. Put here outside. Okay. So as I said before, so the intro templates can work. We need the sequence to be 1920 by 1080. So they will uh, will run smoother and faster by that. So here is we need to go to edit. You have always the colors, the position, and the scale for everything. We also have the background in, in case you want to change it. For example, let's go with uh, uh, red. So here is the background has changed. You also have the text, the font, the scale, and the position for everything. So if you go down, you can also check or uncheck the elements in case you need them. As you can see, they are off. You also have the tint opacity of the background if you want to make it bigger or if you want to make it smaller. So here are and here is the animation. As you can see, there it is. So let's go with another one. What we have? Yeah, let's go with the timers. Drag and drop to your timeline. So here is, we have all the five timers that you can change between them. Let's go, yeah, let's go with the number four. We open the folder number four. As I said, you have the colors, font, and text, and that's it. They are very easy to use. You have the animation, here is. You have also the thickness if you want it. So as you can see, they are very easy to use. So let's go with another one. Let's go with the social media, for example, drag and drop, open, oh yeah. So here are, there are nine, uh, nine social media that you can change between them. Let's go with the number one that was very good. Let's, let's open the folder number one. You have the color position and text, and you also have the video image replacer. If you want, you can open here, replace from Explorer, and you can import or your video or image right here. You also have the position and scale for the image. As always, you have the font, text, and you also have the element position if you want. Here is, or you have the opacity if you want. So let's continue with the graphic, drag and drop. So here is, we have the grid here. We need to go to edit. Let's make it a bit bigger. Yeah, like that. You have the colors of everything, the text if you want to change them. So here is the thickness of the line. If you want it, let's make it five, for example. As you can see, the lines have changed. You also have the gradient in case you need it. And you also have the grid if, in case you need it. They are very versatile. You can change and play between them. For example, here we can make it smaller like that put it here on the right and then we can go to the browser and we can find our 3d models and we can drag and drop to to our timeline for example here let's go with the upper front so here is the 3d model okay let's make it a bit smaller as you can see and 
put it on the left. One thing that is very important, we have separated the, the 3D models as there, is the, there was the only way to make the graphics worse. So there are four gra separate graphics. We have the upper body, we have the lower body, and then we have the back lower body and back upper body. You also have it for the male and female. There, that was the only way to make it work. So here is, we have the build in and build out of the animation in case you need it. And you also have the rotation in and rotation out. What this is meaning is that if you want to start the rotation of the build in from minus 90, for example, you can put here minus 90. Let's, let's delete this one and show you the, the rotation. So here is, the body is coming from minus 90 degrees. You can change it, you have a rotation of 360. And then you have also for the position in and position out. As I said, you have the muscles colors. If you want to change between them, let's make it blue. Okay, and then you can see the color of the body has changed. You also have the muscles, you can check them and you can see the muscles are working as i said they are separated so so make sure to to play with the graphics as you want and you also have the opacity of the body in case you need it you have the radius of the globe in case you you need it and you also have the distance of the globe so in difference with the final cut pro we have more options here so you be creative and play with, with the graphics. So let's go, for example, with the last one, let's go with the title number four, drag and drop to our timeline. You have also the position and the scale. You have the colors, font, scale, and position for every text in case you need it. And here, if you go to the bottom of the graphics, here we'll find the days. So as you can see, the number six is checked. So if you want more days to be, to be read, so you can check the number one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, the colors are open. You also have the tint opacity of the background in case you need it. So as you can see, they are very easy to use everything. Okay, and what happens if our graphics are not showing up when we drag and drop it to a timeline? For example, let's take the lower back female, we drag and drop. And we can see the graphics are not showing up. Make sure to have After Effects and Video Copilot Element 3D to make it work because if you don't have the software, it won't work. Let's go to Downloads where we just downloaded our file, open CCGen Graphics V3. We go into Graphics and we will see at the very top a folder named AE for After Effects. If we double click and open, and we open for example the first one, just double click it. We will have the file in our After Effects project and we can see there is nothing showing up here in our timeline. So we go to export file, double click, we can see this folder, we can open it for effects front upper. If we double click where it says front upper, it will appear a window named effect controls. If you can see it, just window and effect controls. We need to click in Scene Setup. This will automatically open the Video Copilot software. So if we open this folder, we can see everything is red, right? So this is because we don't have the files relink. All we have to do is go to File, Relink Scene Files. Once we're here, we need to select the folder. And we need to go and pick the folder where we copy and pasted the CC 3D models, if you remember. So it was this PC, local disk, program files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, Video Copilot, models, and here is the folder we pasted at the very beginning. So we select it and we need to hit OK, relink, and it will say found three models and no textures, that's fine. Just OK, close, and we have the model. Don't worry about this preview because it's good. <laughs> We hit OK. And we now can see our 3D model here in the preview. 
So all we have to do now is click on export motion graphics template. It will ask us for save. We just hit save. And this is very important to choose the correct folder. So we need to hit browse and we can go to our downloads where we just had our folder and go back to graphics. So the name is lower back female MOGRT and we have it just right here. So we hit save and replace. Okay. Okay. So now if we go back to Premiere Pro and we reinstall the graphics we just saved. Remember, you have to do this one by one, but it's the same process, so don't worry. So we need to find the folder, in graphics, V3, graphics, call it that, okay. <laughs> lower back, no? Same. Right. So the ones we resaved was the lower back female, open, overwrite. If we delete this one, we go to browse, lower back female and now we can see our graphic this happens because the files are not linked even though we copy and paste it in the correct file directory but if this happens to you just remember it's the same process for every file it's very simple and it won't take you longer than five minutes so guys this is it i hope this video helped you to understand how to install use and relink the files don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to tag us in your content with hashtag MailCreation. See you soon in the next tutorial.